Hey Tuz, it's just me today. It's uh, during the week and uh, Mike is at work. And uh, I was gonna, I was gonna hone this thing out and uh, lap the valves, get it ready for Mike to come back because he's working on a crank right now. And he's a little machining, but uh, before I started lapping, I noticed the valves are gonna need adjusting. So let's look in here. I'll show you what's going on. I'm gonna turn the crank, and you see the one there on the right going up and down that's the intake valve there's absolutely no clearance on that at all and it should be about uh, eight thousandths and then this one on the left here is uh, the exhaust valve you see you got a little clearance there let me go back up and bring it back down and that's only about eight thousandths that should be uh, about fifteen sixteen thousandths Stick my feeler gauge in there, and that goes in. That's uh, what we got here. The numbers are upside down there, but you can still see. If I get the glare out of the way for you, eight thousandths. There we go. Yeah, it's upside down. But anyway, that's uh, that's the good that's the good uh, cylinder there, or the good block, I should say. And even on the other block, it's funny they're they're both out the same. All right, you see on the right, right now that valve is down. There's absolutely no clearance on that right valve. And then the one on the left is the exhaust. And we're getting a little bit right there. But that, and that's only like eight thousandths, you know. So that should be sixteen thousandths, and the intake should be eight thousandths. So I'm gonna have to grind them valves to get them back in the spec, and then uh, then I can lap them. And then uh, the cylinders itself. Let me turn the light on here. The cylinders are this one here is really in good shape. I mean, incredible. You know, it's got it's nice and polished and everything. That, that was a real nice engine there. And then this one here, I'm gonna have to hone that one. That one. That one needs a little attention, but it's okay. So I'm going to hone them and uh, lap the valves and grind them and adjust them and <clears throat> get back to you and let you know what's going on. All right. All right, I ground the valves. Here's the, the good engine. We call this uh, engine A. And you can see there, here's the, the intake. We got a little gap there. That's eight thousandths. And then the exhaust, you can see we got a little gap there now, before we didn't. There we go. And then over here on the other engine, sorry about that. Took to make it focus in here, there we go. Here's the exhaust, see you got a little gap. Closes and check intake here. Got a little gap there. Okay, so now, uh, now the valves are adjusted, I can lap them. All right, let me get my lapping compound out. We'll do that. All right, we're ready to uh, lap these valves now. We've got us uh, a little valve uh, lapping tool here. You can get these at any any small engine supply place or anything. Then what you do is you just take it and take the little suction cup and whoops. There you go. Center it, stick it on the, the valve, and look, you bring it out. Oop, I want to get my light there. But you can pull it out. Okay, what we're trying to do here is try to stand on my light here. But the valve here, you want to try and make like a, a uniform line. Around that and that, that way, that way you know you have uh, a complete closure of the valve. I'm just going to put this uh, valve compound on here. Where you at? A little bit of valve compound. You don't need much. Matter of fact, I guess it's probably too much. I just had this tube laying around, valve, valve grinding compound. Then you just stick it in a hole there. And you can hear it, hear it grinding, and then you, you spin it like you're trying to make a fire. And you can actually hear 
it stops grinding a little bit. You pick that up and pound it a little bit, then you can start grinding again. You can actually actually hear it cutting away. Okay, my suction cup keeps sliding, but it don't take much. Especially these, these look like they're in good shape. You gotta make sure to tap it too is is all the way down so that you're not you're not bottoming out on it. Oh, I think I got my light again. Sorry about that. Okay. And you can take it out and look at it. Wipe it off. Where you at? Where you at guys? And here's that line I'm telling you we're looking for. And then that's probably right here in the, in the engine. You want to try to get this in the inside the valve guys there. Okay. Alright, believe it or not, that one's done. That uh, that valve is is seating good now. Right, I'm gonna do the rest of them. And I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'll get back to you when we're done with it. Okay. Alright, let me get you over here in a little better light. You can actually see that uniform line that you're trying to get. Alright, that uh, that ensures that you get complete closure and a good seal on them valves. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these and uh, let you know when I'm done. Alright, I lubed the cylinder up real good here. Now I got the hone ready. See the hone here? You just stick that in this cylinder here. This is the this is the one that was pretty uh, pretty rough. I'm not trying to take too much off, but like I said, this one's a little rougher than the other one. Let me wipe it out and see what we got here. Hmm, I don't know, it looks like it feels good though. I'm glad I didn't go ass wild on it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it really came out nice. Hmm, okay. I'll do the other one and show you what they look like. Alright, I got both cylinders honed and uh, I'm real happy. I'm real pleased with the way both of them came out. Let's see if I can get a good look at this with the... It's tough. It's tough with the light. The light throws off the, the focus on this camera, but... That's the one. That was the bad cylinder. That actually looks pretty good. And then uh, there's the good cylinder. Good cylinder turned out even better. Just wanted to knock the glaze off of it, you know. Just enough to uh, let the rings seat when they when we put the new ones in. So, all right. And not more, much more I could do. Maybe I could play with uh, some of the the welds on this, could grind some of them down and stuff. But uh, other than that, we're just waiting for Mike to bring back uh, the crankshaft after after he machines it. All right. We'll see you next video.